Okay, this is going to be the last step on how to solve the 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. Now, so far you have all the sensors done and all the dentures. So, in this step, all you're going to do is solve it like a 3x3 three three and solve something called parity. There are two forms of parity in this step. There's edge parity and there's corner parity. Obviously, edge parity is with the edge and corner parity is with the corners. I was just telling you in case. Yeah. So, first of all, you're going to solve the bottom cross. So, go ahead and do that. Oh, by the way, when I, um, for this step, you're going to need to know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. So, check out my tutorial because I'll be using my method because all you have to do to make it a 3x3 three three is not use these middle layers because then this is just the same as an edge and this is the same as a center so yeah so go ahead and solve the bottom cross my cube often locks up and it's quite sticky so I'm not that fast Okay. Then solve the first two layers using whatever method you like. I'm going to use Frederick XL. Then again, it's not th that fast on this cube because it's a bit sticky and often locks up. Still two more corner edges to go. One more. Okay, done. Now it's in the last layer, but you're going to see whether you've got a parity error or not. So, yeah. So in this case, we do have one. If you have a parity error, the cube would either look like this, so just a dot and an edge above it, or it would look, it could look something like this. an unfinished cross, which you can't get on a 3x3 three because three, it basically means that you need to flip this edge around because if you solve it, you'll just end up with a completed cube except one edge flipped, which can happen on a 4x4 four four without having taken it apart, but it can't happen on the 3x3. Three three. So yeah, so you're going to need to start off in this position and there's a 50 move long algorithm that you'll need but you can also solve the 5x5 five five using it but so don't let that discourage you we're going to try it anyway so wait if ever you have the dot and the edge all you do is put it in a position like this and do the algorithm F U R U I R I F I which is the same algorithm as to get the cross on the three by three, but it's backwards. Okay, now the really long algorithm to undo edge parity. Now, you will need to use these middle layers, so yeah. Okay, the algorithm goes small R two, so I mean both right layers. 180 degrees, back 180 degrees, up 180 degrees, and both left layers clockwise. Up 180 degrees, both two right lay both right layers and T clockwise, up 180 degrees, both right layers clockwise, up 180 degrees, front 180 degrees. Both right layers clockwise, front 180 degrees, both left layers anti-clockwise, back 180 degrees, and both right layers 180 degrees. And that should give you the cross. Okay, it means that now you've solved edge parity, but now there's still corner parity to solve. In corner parity, it's basically two corners in the wrong place. Now, you're going to need pre um, 
very similar algorithm to solve this, but first of all, when do you have x power to nil? First, um, commute uh, the um, edges, so basically put the edges in the right place. Now when the edges line up, you're going to look around the cube. Now if two corners are in the right place, you've got corner parity. Now what you do, now there are two ways they can be in the right place, adjacent or opposite. Now you want them adjacent. Now to be adjacent, if they're opposite, take one of them, which you put in the bottom right right of the top face, like usual, and do the normal algorithm, which you should already know. Okay, and um, now we've got them next to each other. Now what you do is have them both on the right, on the right, and do a very similar algorithm to the previous one, except we don't use the middle names. So this algorithm goes R2, B2, U2, L, U2, RI, U2, R, U2, F2, R, F2, LI, U2, R2. So, yes. Now, but as you can see, it will also switch two edges. Now, so, put the um, corners in the right place. Now when they are, flip them the correct way, and it will be less confusing. One done. Let's check that side. Two corners done. Three corners done. All four corners. And then it's not solved because you've still got two edges opposite. Now to do this, have one facing you and do the algorithm. Both up layers twice, both left layers twice, small u2, so just the inside up layer twice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's actually U2, so the outside up layer twice, small L2, so the inside um, left layer twice, U2, um, so the outside up layer twice, both right layers, left layers twice, and both up layers twice. And that solves your 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. I hope the tutorial helps. And if you subscribe to me, maybe I'll teach you how to solve the 5x5. Five